Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm just gonna make a quick tutorial on how you can use X360C for all your games on PC. Now X360CE actually has certain requirements and if your PC doesn't have these requirements, it's not gonna work as you want it to. So before we go on, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and you can click the notification icon so that when I release new videos you will get a notification so I'll just di display a screen of you know the requirements that X360CE needs to work on your PC so let's go to the screen okay so um, if you're able to um, you know meet the requirements of X360C all you need to do is either use the newer versions or the older versions so I'm just gonna start explaining the newer version so um <coughs> <coughs> what you need to do is just download the um, newer version from the uh, X360C website so we have this the new version doesn't have any 64 or 86 attached to it, it's just X360C. So you just extract this to your desktop, then you run it as administrator. So when you do this for the first time, you're not gonna hear that um, you know sound that picks up the controller, or you're not gonna get this highlighted or anything. So what you need to do first is you enable one mapped device here. Just check this option, and then you check this option. After you do this, you come to issues, the issues tab, and any driver that is needed for X360C to work on your PC is going to be found here if it is missing. So it's going to give you a chance to install it from this tab if you know your PC needs it. So all you need to do is come to this tab and then click on install if you find any driver here. After which you come back to your controller and then you click on add when you click on add this is where you will find your device and then this is my gamepad so all you need to do is click on this device and then add selected device now if you don't find your device you can just click on refresh and then it'll automatically you know just refresh and show your device so that's all and then once you're done it's left to configure it now all you need to do to configure this is you just click on the button that you want to configure then click on the same button you know press the same button on your controller so if you want to configure this you press configure you press I've already configured this and so you don't see any difference but um if you do this it's gonna work so as you can see all my buttons are working perfectly fine it's working control is kind of messing up so um if you do this it's gonna work it's working perfectly fine so after this you just um <coughs> you know save all you can just save all then if you're gonna play a game using this you don't close this one like the older versions you minimize it so that it goes to the tray icon if you want it you can find it in a tray icon then you double click then it's gonna come back so that's it for the first one the um, newer version now the older version is quite it's also quite simple I mean 
you just need to find out if um, your game is 64 bit or you know 32 bit if it's 64 you use the 64 bit version I mean it's gonna tell you 64 and if it's 32 you're gonna use the one with the x86 you know number so um, let's just do a quick tutorial maybe say I want to put this one in that gambit so I'll just have to try if it's not the right version it's gonna tell me it's not the right version so let's open up file location okay um, I think this is the right place to put this yeah so you're just gonna put it in the game directory this copy this paste it here and then you're just gonna extract here then you launch this as administrator Oh wait, uh, I should have closed the um, the new version. It's kind of interfering. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, and now this is how the older versions appear. So, <coughs> if it's not the right version, you're gonna get this message. Um, this folder contains 32 bit game. You should use 32 bit x360c application. So, since we already have it, we were using the 64, so we just need to use the 32. Just close this and close this. Okay, so all we need to do is delete this and we put in the correct version. So we need um, 32, uh, copy, and paste. Okay, so we extract here, run as administrator. <coughs> yes. And then we didn't get that, you know, <coughs> error message again. This one is you know normal any extra if you're using the older version and X is the correct version you're gonna get this um, you know um, you know notification so all you need to do is just click on create to solve the problem and then you're still gonna make sure that um, your controller is plugged in before you're actually doing this so click on next and, well I clicked on finish so um, this is you know normal so you just have to click on OK then you come and click on auto then do you want to fill a controller one setting automatically so you click on yes and then it, <coughs> it highlights all of these automatically so um, it's working fine I guess 
So um, sometimes these you know um, buttons are actually mixed up. So what you can do is the easiest way to configure this is you can just um, click on this, then record. Then it's gonna give you a chance to press the button. So you just press, and then it changes. Then click on this record then you press and it's going to change so you just need to do this for um, all of the buttons until you you know get the right configuration then you're good to go and then when you're finished you're going to save this now um, with the older version some games actually use um, what's the name um, difference x input file so um, in case you are using x360 CE you know the older version and maybe it's not picking it, picking the um, game up all you need to do is try out all these um, x input files so try out the 32-bit versions for 32-bit games and then 64-bit version for 64-bit games Okay, so um, even though you um, see um, the X input file for 1.3, you can see that what's actually checked is 1.1. So all you need to do is just check the X input file for 1.3. You can uncheck 1.1. And then you'll just ap apply synchronization settings. So you can see that it says all is okay then okay so if you want to try out the um, other versions all you just need to do need to do is click on this and then you can see that it just automatically adds the X input file for 1.2 over here so at first you have to synchronize the settings and then you can just try out all these if you want if you want to take it out you uncheck and then it takes it out so it's that's how you can try out all the other X input files. It's quite simple to do. So um, that's pretty much all you need to do for the older versions. When you're done, you come back to controller. Then you click on save. Then when you save, you close. I think that's it for X360 CE. I mean, if you still have questions, you know, you can comment about it so that I can see, I'll see what I can do. I mean, I don't know everything about X360 CE. I mean, but it has never disappointed me in any game. I mean, I always change different versions and use different versions. I mean, I find it a new one quite easy so right now it's the new one I'm using but if the new one doesn't work I just switch back to the older versions I mean it's it's not a perfect application but it's quite helpful so this is the end of the video be sure to like comment and subscribe and click the notification button so that you'll get notification when I release my videos and I will see you in my next video. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.